backlash on Amber. She leaked info to start the lawsuit. Great response from Amber after it was revealed that she deliberately started a lawsuit between insurance companies. Nah, Amber bit off more than she could chew and caused even more trouble. The actress was exposed to charges of deliberately creating a dispute between insurance companies, and fans have concluded that Amber is in danger. Keep watching to find out more. Just in all this about the latest in Hollywood, rest assured, we bring you the latest celebrity drama, gossip, especially about your favorite actors. So let's get started. Amber Heard suffered the losses. She suffered the losses from a lawsuit. The actress was sued by her ex-husband Johnny Depp over comments she wrote in the Washington Post in 2018. After the verdict, she was ordered to pay $10.35 million in damages, but her attorney, Elaine Bredhoff, said she couldn't let that happen. Now, your insurance company had also turned around. Heard was found guilty of defamation of Johnny for which he was ordered to pay $10 million in damages and $5 million in damages. Due to government restrictions, the latter was reduced to $350,000 for a total of $10.35 million. The Pirates of the Caribbean actor has also been ordered to pay $2 million in damages after his lawyer defamed Amber and called her allegations a fraud. Depp, after losing the defamation lawsuit, instead, he sued actress Aquaman to avoid paying him. It is Amber Heard's home insurance company that covered the bill for her legal fees. Apparently, so many Hollywood celebrities pay their legal fees in defamation cases. Lawsuit against Amber According to Law & Crime, the New York Marine and General Insurance Company filed a lawsuit against Amber in the U.S. District Court. Although Amber Heard reportedly had $1 million in liability insurance, the company chose to withhold payments because she engaged in intentional and malicious behavior that violated their policies. Well, that complicates matter for Amber Heard, who can no longer afford Johnny Depp's massive compensation. In the lawsuit, the insurer added that it could be held liable for the negligence of the insured, but that the insurer is not liable for damages caused by the willful actions of the insured. On the other hand, Amber's attorney filed a motion for a new trial in a Virginia court in the defamation case against Johnny, citing the false jury assigned to the jury at the trial. Johnny and Amber accused each other of domestic violence during a six-week televised trial in the United States. The verdict for this was announced on June 1, 2022. Amber Heard's insurance company sued the actress in Los Angeles, claiming in federal court that the actress policy did not cover the $8.3 million loss her ex-husband Johnny Depp won in a libel lawsuit against her. Court sources documented Sunday. Although Heard, who the insurer says resides in Los Angeles area, has a $1 million liability policy with New York Marine and General Insurance Company, the policy does not cover intentional infringement, which is exactly what the jury found in the defamation claim based on the complaint submitted. Other companies also offered coverage. New York Marine and General Insurance Company filed a lawsuit against the Aquaman actor in federal court on Friday trying to avoid having to pay Heard after the defense failed in a defamation lawsuit filed by ex-husband Johnny Depp. The insurance company said in the lawsuit that it did not feel it had any further obligation to defend Heard. Other insurance companies also offer coverage for Heard. Another insurer, Travelers Commercial Insurance, has had continues to spend significant sums defending Heard under a home insurance policy issued in 2018. According to court documents, he is now suing the New York Navy for a share of the costs. The New York Marine Court lawsuit filed Friday in U.S. District Court in California is Heard's latest potential legal challenge. It comes more than a month after the widely publicized verdict in a Virginia jury trial to rule on the merits of Depp's accusation that Heard defamed his and Heard's counterclaim. Depp won three lawsuits against Amber. As for Heard, whose career was less established than Depp's when their relationship and disturbing allegations began, it's harder to say. According to sources, nearly a decade ago, before Depp's drama broke out, Heard told Vanity Fair that he was ready for the ups and downs of an acting career. The trial included weeks of controversial testimony, including Heard's graphic allegations of sexual harassment during their marriage. 
Depp denies Heard's allegations of domestic violence. Depp won three lawsuits against Heard, while Heard won one of the three lawsuits he filed against Depp in a $100 million counterclaim. Now, his insurance company says he doesn't think he could pay Heard under the policy, which offers liability coverage up to $1 million. The lawsuit alleges that the insurance company wrote the policy for Heard in 2019, at least half of the defense costs. The travelers said in their complaint that the New York Navy must pay at least half of the defense costs. The homeowner's policy issued by travelers to Heard in 2018 includes coverage and potentially covered defamation damages and promises a defense against any lawsuits alleging such damage, according to the complaint. The dispute is whether New York Marine is liable to an insurance company appointed attorney for costs associated with Heard's independent counsel and whether New York Marine is liable for the arbitral award against Heard.